2014 was a great year. <laughs> So going into that season, there was no expectation to win a championship. You know, before that, our last one was in 2009. Five years, you know, feels like a lifetime when you're playing uh, and you haven't won anything. Just looking at the roster, you wouldn't have thought that was a team that was going to win it all. You know, through the first two, three weeks of the season, it just felt like a lot of average basketball. We couldn't get on the same page. We had a brand new coach, a couple new signings. Like, I definitely don't think we're favorites to win anything. Phoenix carrying a 10 game winning streak. But we found a way to making plays at big moments. Tarasi, oh yeah. Everyone was on the same page mentally that we had each other's back and really wanted to play for each other. I think that's a, a characteristic that a championship team has to have. And the Phoenix Mercury are your 2014 champions. It's just a tremendous feeling when you get to do something with, you know, a group of people that have worked so hard and it was fun to be on the court with, with that group. You got to cherish those moments because they don't happen often. Uh, last season, the Mercury set a WNBA record with 29 regular season wins and Phoenix had the highest attendance rate in the league. There was a lot of long days, a lot of long nights, and there was no time to to get away from that pressure. Because we're put in a position where things don't add up for us. Diana Taurasi will be sitting out the 2015 season and not because of an injury. You know, and, and it was a decision that I really had to think about for a while before I made it. You know, it was, a, it was a business opportunity I couldn't pass down. You know, not only for myself, but for my family. It was one of those things where it would have been financially irresponsible not to take the deal. Yeah, having to play year round, um, especially internationally, it, it, it's, it's a huge commitment you make. You know, at that point, I had been playing overseas in the WNBA just year after year. I was, my body was mangled. I was just tired. I needed a break. To think about that I spent most of my 20s in Europe, it kind of seems crazy to think that you'd choose to go there and live for 10 years in your 20s. But they're paying me a lot of money. So there was those years where basketball just suffocated you, um, me. And I think those are the times where I was really lucky to have Sue around, to have really good friends around. That family unit that was always there, whether it was three days in LA before I had to be back in Phoenix. Those were the things that really grounded me. We've come a long way, but it's still short of where it should be. But I still love to play, so I'm still here. <laughs>